Hello friends, welcome to another video of Meme Learn from B. Today we will discuss about how you can use uh, memes of shared library uh, to put our common uh, reusable codes in the library and uh, use those uh, code or those flows in other uh, meme projects. Okay, so as part of demonstration, we will be creating two projects. One is the shared library project another is uh, the use uh, the implementation project where we will utilize that shared library okay so let's go ahead and i will click on file new and i will create a new new project and i will name it as common library version one okay so i will name it like this version 1 right and i will select the uh, runtime version 4.1.6 click on finish so once this is this project is created first thing we will do here is we will go to our com file and there we will see this section if you see here in the plugin section let me just enlarge this thing and here in the plugin section we are having configuration right so here we have to add classifier classifier and we have to mention it as new hyphen plugin okay so like this if you see this is also having the same thing so we are about to create the similar thing here okay so we we will mention so let's do one thing we will just uh, we can just copy from here as well also we can type here okay so classifier new plugin that's what we have to mention here in this uh, plugin uh, plugin tag in the com file okay i will just save it so this is the property which we need to set to make our uh, make our new project a pluggable project uh, which can be invoked as a Maven dependency. Okay. So our common library version one. This is the flow which has been created. So I will create here two dummy flows. So you can think of it like uh, this is a common flow one, and then you can put some. This is uh, another flow we have. So I will just make it very. Uh, simple so that we we, ca we can see uh, if we can invoke these flows from our actual implementation new project. Okay, so in the logger, I will make it as uh, logger one, and then I will call it as hello from common library version one flow right so whatever flow name is showing here i will just leave that name here so hello from this right so control c and similarly i will do the same thing here and i will put uh, the same message but this time the flow name is having common library version one flow one right so i will make it as flow one that's it for this common library so let me tell you the actual scope of this kind of usage is like um, we can put some transform message here and we can put our common logic which can be used throughout multiple projects multiple new projects i'm trying to say so that time we would be able to uh, keep our common logic here in, inside the library project and we can invoke those libraries uh, uh, through Maven dependency by adding those, uh, adding it to our com file in the implementation new project, right? So like this, we, we are about to do the implementation. So I will just press Control S, and our common library is ready. Okay. So now what I will do is I will just uh, create another project, and I will name it as. I will name it as um, use common library 
version 1 okay so i will name it like this and again i will select the new server 4.1.6 so then i will click finish and here if you see uh, this is our implementation project i will consider this as the implementation project and here uh, so what i will do is i will again uh, create uh, i will add a listener here and in the listener property i will just uh, add the uh, the default configuration which we uh, used in most of the cases so here i will give the path as test and uh, i will i will just put a logger here and that's it i won't make it uh, complex so i just keep it as simple as possible and now we have two projects if you see we have two projects one is the common library common library project which is this one common library version one another is the use common library version one right so these are two projects which we are uh, about to use for our demonstration so let's do one thing uh, if we see our uh, this common library is now ready right and we want to we want to use this uh, common library version 1 flu and common library version 1 flu 1 we, we want this to be available for our Okay, so for our use common library version 1, for the, uh, here we want to make it available and how we will remove this? We want to use the flow reference to call that, uh, call that uh, flow, right? So let's do, let, let, let's uh, go ahead and uh, we will come here in the library project and now we will right click on this and the next step would be to go to the properties so let's do one thing i will just click on select uh, i will copy this path i will copy this and i will go to the command prompt and if you see right now it is pointing to different directory but before the, uh, executing any maven command we have to first make sure that our maven is properly configured and installed so if you uh, to verify that you can run maven mvn uh, space hyphen version so by uh, executing that command we should give you the actual uh, maven installation path along with your uh, java home okay so what i will do i will just uh, cd to the actual project directory where our common library is so if you see right now our uh, it is now pointing to our common library right so the command is mvn clean install okay so by doing this our uh, common library project would be uh, would be um, created as a as a plugin project and the build would be successful and then it would be available for our uh, for uh, available to use as maven dependency so if you see here it has already installed that jar file and everything is there and this repository is now available at this location if you see mv uh, m2 repository uh, com, com my company and then common library version 1 please follow my concept so here if you see our uh, new, uh, common library project has been added as um, plugin right and it is now um, it is now ready to be uh, ready to be invoked as maven dependency okay so this is the this is the step which you need to follow to make it as a plugin project. So I'll go back to our uh, AnyPoint Studio, and here I will do one thing. I will just go to the com file of our common library version one, and then what I will do from here I will take this these three things I will take from here, right? And I will see. And then I will go back to our usage project. So here, if you see, I will go here in this use common library version one project. I have to go to here, and then I will straight scroll down to the dependency part. And here I will add another dependency, 
and that should be adding the library project okay so i will give it like this post and just the indentation okay and now we will use the same classifier with this so that our library project can be added as can be added to the to our uh, usage use common library version one project okay so here if you see it has been added right so if you see common library version one and the version one point zero point zero hyphen snapshot this has been added to our use common library version one project right so by by adding this uh, dependency we have added this common library version one project right which you have which we have just created here right so now our uh, our known project which is the implementation project this one if you follow my cursor so this one is now having common library version one as the uh, it has been added to our project new project right so now what we will do we will come here and we will try to use this use the flow which is there in our common library right so flow reference and there if you see it's only showing the use common library version one flow only this flow which is which is uh, in our current project it is not showing up the flows which are there in our library project so then how can we use that so what what uh, we need uh, some additional configuration to before using our uh, library flows in our actual implementation flow right so let's click on this uh, icon and then uh, also go inside this and here inside the meta inf folder we have artifact new artifact json right so here you should you sh you should see what has been exported from our project right so this is the file which has been exported from our library project right so we have to copy this name control c and then what exactly you have to do we have to go to our implementation flow and there in the global elements we have to create import right we have to add some import configuration and here in the import you have to mention that same file name okay so once this file name is imported and we just let control s now it is saved right now if we if you go to flow reference and here if you see our library flows are now available right so here i am selecting common library version one flow that means whatever library uh, whatever library flow we added there in our library project if you see so this is our common library version one flow right so this this flow is there inside our common library project isn't it so by doing this we have uh, by by adding this import configuration and here we have added that uh, new configuration file which is there in our uh, in our library project so that configuration file we have added and now we can see those flows which are there in our library project those flows are now available to our implementation new project and to be uh, used right so i have used flow reference and from the flow reference i can see the current flow which is already there that is use common library version one flow along with the library flows which we have added as part of dependency to our implementation project isn't it so here is the uh, the maven dependency and the library project has been added right so let's save this one and what i will do i will just i will just try to do some modification here 
and in this common library version one project this is the library project right so here i am adding another configuration file and this configuration file i am adding it here in the common library project and this time i will name it as common library version 2 dot xml or let's say we don't need to put that xml there so i just click finish so if you see another file has been added here that is common library version 2 right this file has been added here in this file currently we don't have anything so let's let's uh, let's add something here and again uh, i'll uh, put this thing uh, this two loggers i am putting it here and again the same thing just the the idea behind this uh, this demonstration is to understand how we can uh, we can get we can use the new flows which are there in the library flow how we can use them in our implementation flow right so i will just copy this new flow and i will just make it like hello from Common library version two flow, right? Similarly, I will do the same thing here. I will from common library version two flow one, right? Same thing. Okay. So if you see in our library project, we have added some uh, some uh, more functionality by adding uh, a separate uh, configuration file. And that configuration file is now having two flows, right? And what we will do is, uh, if you see uh, every project, uh, let let's see the form file, and let's see the dependency there. Okay, if you see this HTTP connector, this one, this one is having different versions, right? So the concept is same for our library project as well. So what we will do is. We will uh, we will add more functionalities to our library project, and then we will increase the version. So we will go to our library project form form file, and there we will try to increase this version, right? So it is now one point zero point one hyphen snapshot. So we will just save this, and this time also we have to do do the same thing. Again, we have to build the. We have to run the same command that is mvn clean install, right? And this time, we will just uh, press enter, and then we will see that another version of this library uh, project would be added there in our new, uh, in our Maven repository, right? If you see here, it is now one point zero point one, and the advantage is. Suppose some of the implementation flow, some of our implementation flow wants to utilize version 1.0.0, and some project is trying to utilize version 1.0.1. So what we will do, we will create another project, new project, and this time we will name it as use. Common library version okay we will name it as like this so this time again we will do the same thing and we will do just add the paste here uh, listener here and then we will again um, add the same code and here we will make it as test version 2 okay like this we will mention it here and then we will put a logger here and similarly uh, I will add a flow reference here and again if you see it is just so, uh, showing the current flow which is there in our new version 2 um, use common library version 2 project right so how we can uh, we can add the library so as we did earlier, we will go to com file. So first, I will go to our uh, 
our common library is this one and then we have use common library version 1 right so in the use common library version 1 we already added that library right so i will go here and i will copy it from here copy this dependency and i will go to our use common library version 2 and inside the form file of this project i will go here and then i will go to our this dependency thing and here i will add another dependency and this time i will make this as 1.0.1 right and if you see this name common library version 1 this remains same because our parent project this one common library version 1 this name remains same but this is having two uh, the version 1.0.1 uh, is having two new configuration files whereas the version 1.0.0 uh, is having only one configuration file right okay so we have already added the uh, dependency here in the form file of the use common library project version 2 right this one common library version 2 here we have added it and one more thing we have to do that is the import we have to add right so okay so if you see you know, after adding the dependency to the form file our common library version 1 with the snapshot 1.0.1 this version has been added to our neural project isn't it here if we go inside this, inside the meta INF folder, inside the new artifact JSON, if we see this time it is having two configuration files, isn't it? Two configuration files. So let's go back to our version 1 implementation flow, which is this one, use common library version 1. And here we also added common library but that version was having snapshot 1.0.0 isn't it and inside this new artifact json if we see it is having only one external configuration file right a new configuration file only one it is having but 1.0.1 is having two new configuration files right now let's say out of these two new configuration files we want to utilize only common library version 2.xml so if that is the case we have to just copy this name and then we will go to our new flow and in the global elements we will go to create and then we will add import and here we will put that file name and just click ok and then control s now if you see this reference is now having the current flow which is there in the uh, current use common library version 2 project along with the library flows which are there if you if you just follow the name these library flows are there inside on the version 2 configuration file isn't it so only this file is now visible to our this file is now visible to our implementation flow, isn't it? So here in the used common library version 1, we have flow reference which is utilizing the library flows from the version 1 new configuration file, I mean this file and the second flow second uh, use common library version 2 project which is utilizing flow references from the another new configuration file that is this one right so like this we can use our common library to our um, implementation projects right so what we will do, we will just paste this thing. 
So let first test library one. This one I will test first. And right click on this, and then run as, and then new application. Right. So this time we are uh, trying to execute use common library version 1 project which is the implementation project and this is our actual library project right common library version 1 which is having two versions currently 1.0.0 snapshot and 1.0.1 snapshot right so we will wait for this project to be deployed and once it is deployed we will try to we will try to test it and we will see what gets printed uh, in the console log. Okay. Okay, so our project is now deployed. Our uh, common use common library version in this project is now deployed, right? So I have opened the postman here and if you remember the path was HTTP colon slash slash color host and then add zero and then it was test right so let's clear this log I have cleared the console log so that we can see what gets printed here so I will just send get request here and if you see the uh, response has come as 200 that means the call was successful and in the console log let's see what got printed right so this is the log uh, this part is printed by the log which we, which we have mentioned here uh, let's open this one which we have mentioned here, so this log has printed this part what is that I have highlighted now it has printed this thing, right till, till here, okay so this part has been printed by that log this one, this log and if you see from here we were calling common library version 1 flow so in common library version 1 flow this one we have logger and the logger says hello from common library version 1 flow right so this should be printed there in our console log because we are calling that using our flow reference and if you see this is if you see this is uh, showing right hello from common library version 1 version 1 flow so that 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 actually proves that we were able to call our library flow from our actual implementation tool, right? From our actual implementation tool. So let's do one thing. Let's change it from here and make it instead of common library version one flow, we are making it as common library version one flow one, and I will just save it. And as usual. It should be deployed automatically. If you see, it's getting deployed automatically. So, our application is now started. I will again flow, clean this log. I will go back to here and just click on this uh, send button once again to send another request. And this time also, the response is 200. And if you see, same thing happened, but the log this time is from hello from common library version 1 flow 1, right? Because we have changed the flow reference uh, flow name to the common library version 1 flow 1. And if we go to our this uh, library flow, there we find that this hello from common library version 1 flow 1 right similarly what we can do is 
we can uh, we can run the version 2 implementation flow which is this one this one so we will try to run this one run as implementation and we will wait for this to be deployed okay so our flow is now deployed this is the implementation flow which is utilizing version 1.0.1 of the common library version 1 flow library flow right so we will go back to our uh, postman and if you remember i changed this listener property path to test version 2 right this one and the other properties were same only it's rate one so what i will do in the console okay in the console i will just clear the logs and then i will go back here and this time i will make it as test version 2 right and i will send the request and this is coming as 200 that means the request was successful and as usual this log is printing this whole thing this whole uh, uh, this things uh, this thing is getting printed by the this log this log and uh, this flow reference is calling common library version two flow right so let's see what is there in common library version two flow so we have common library this and in this uh, in this common library version two external con null configuration file we have common library version 2 this thing right and this says hello from common library version 2 flow let's see if this is printed there in our log yes this is printed right so that means we have full control uh, over like uh, out of all the new configuration files out of all the flows which are available there in our common library which one we want to utilize based on that requirement we can import that particular new configuration file in our implementation project like this so here we can mention which new configuration file we want to use and then again at the flow reference level we can select that particular flow which we need right? so that is pretty much i wanted to show you i hope this has been uh, simple and easy to understand uh, we'll see you with another video. Thank you so much.